Hello everyone, welcome to Stories Up. Today's video is about the upcoming movie of Marvel Phase 4. Before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to Stories Up and click on the bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. Black Widow has been a long time coming. The first installment of Marvel Phase 4 was originally due to be released in mid-2020, but a series of delays has pushed it all the way back to May 2021, although whether it'll get a cinema debut, Disney Plus premiere, or a hybrid release is still anyone's guess. Nothing can dampen our excitement for Natasha Romanoff's standalone movie. We've done the research and put together everything you need to know about the Scarlett Johansson-led adventure in time for its upcoming release. We've delved into rumored cameos, cool little easter eggs hidden in the trailer, the lowdown on the movie's villain, Taskmaster, and much. We've even analyzed the MCU timeline to see exactly where Nat's escapades fit into the wider Marvel Universe. So, read on to find out everything we can expect from the Black Widow movie. Black Widow movie release date, more delays. It's all change on the schedule front. Originally touted for May 1st, cinemas closing due to COVID-19 forced Marvel's hand on more than one occasion. The Black Widow release date was pushed back to November 6, 2020 but it's now set for May 7, 2021. As of writing, though, it's Black Widow is coming to cinemas. Despite a recent report from Deadline suggesting that the first Phase 4 movie coming to Disney Plus at launch is not a possibility, the pandemic isn't going anywhere. According to Variety, there have been talks about giving Black Widow a hybrid release in cinemas and on Disney Plus plus through Premier Access, this means there will be an extra charge on top of the subscription fee. Nothing has been confirmed yet. Black Widow movie cast, Scarlett Johansson, inevitably, is back at Natasha Romanoff. After all, how could it be a Black Widow movie without her? But she isn't coming alone. Joining her in the Black Widow movie cast is Midsommar lead Florence Pugh as Yelena, another member of the Black Widow training program. Pugh describes her character as like a sister to Natasha, as we'll soon discover, there's plenty of bad blood between the two. Pugh will also return to the MCU in the Hawkeye series, indicating she has a serious future under the Marvel Studios umbrella. Rachel Wise, meanwhile, is yet another new Black Widow on the block, playing Melina Vostokov. Possible spoilers here, but that's not all she's known as in the comics. There, she goes under the guise of the villainous Iron Maiden, who unleashed a lot of pent-up anger at Nat. Perhaps the hottest commodity joining the cast is Stranger Things' David Harbour. Here, he's switching his police hat for a big ass shield as he'll be playing Alexei, otherwise known in the comics as the Red Guardian. As shown by the trailer, he even gets an ill-fitting suit to squeeze into and even throws hands at few masked enemies. As for the main villain of the piece, Taskmaster is in the movie, and they're revealed to be in control of the Red Room, the birthplace of the Black Widows. No word on casting yet, though it's been revealed that Natasha will be facing off against the villain who recently made an irritating series of appearances in the Spider-Man PS4 game. Elsewhere, British acting legend Ray Winstone has signed on to play an unnamed role in the movie, while THR says O.T. Fagbanal, of The Handmaid's Tale fame, is also appearing in Black Widow. Except no one knows who he's playing. All we have is one leaked image to go on. There have even been rumblings about two MCU actors who are making their presence felt as part of the Black Widow movie cast. Black Widow movie plot, is it a prequel? First things first. First, the Black Widow movie is a prequel. Yes, it had been rumored for some time, including a rogue piece of product placement helping piece together the clues, but now it's official thanks to David Harbour's interview with IGN. He told the publication that it's being set in the gap between Captain America, Civil War and Avengers, Infinity War on the MCU timeline. So that's it for today. How much are you excited to watch this first installment of Phase 4 of the Marvel movies? Tell us in the comment below. If you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.